but Raffaele versus the Eurofighter Typhoon. Two four dot five generation fighter jets. Two icons of European aerospace engineering. But when one had to beat the other in the global market, especially in a high stakes deal like India's things got very real, very fast. Let's start with the basics. The Dassault Raffaele, built by France's Dassault Aviation, is a multi-role combat aircraft that prides itself on doing everything. Air superiority, ground attack, nuclear deterrence, even aircraft carrier offsets a true omni-role fighter. The Eurofighter Typhoon, on the other hand, is the product of a European joint effort mainly the UK, Germany, Italy, and Spain. Designed originally as a pure air superiority fighter, it evolved later into a multi-role platform. So, what happens when these two go head-to-head? -head? Let's break it down. Speed? Typhoon takes it. It can hit Mach 2.0 plus. That's over two. 400 km slash H. Raffaele is no slouch either Mach 1.8, but it's not built purely for speed. Agility? Both use a canard delta wing design, which makes them insanely agile in the air. But Typhoon's thrust to weight ratio and superior climb rate give it the edge in a dogfight. Raw, power, pure energy. Weapons load? Raffaele can carry up to 9.5 tons of weapons across 14 hardpoints. Typhoon? Slightly less around 7.5 tons. But both can carry a wide variety of weapons. Air-to-air -air missiles like the Meteor and Iris D, precision bombs, cruise missiles, anti-ship missile zoo, name it. Combat experience? Now this is where Raffaele really pulls ahead. Libya, Syria, Iraq, Mali, Afghanistan Rafael has bind there, done that. It's proven. Typhoon has bind used in some NATO operations and limited combat, but not nearly as extensively. Avionics and radar? Both jets are now equipped with ASA. Radars Rafael uses the RBE-2A. Typhoon has the Cupteri. Both offer high-end electronic warfare capabilities advanced jamming, and sensor fusion. But Raffaele Spectra System A, fully integrated electronic warfare suite is widely regarded as one of the best in the world. Let's talk range. Raffaele has a combat radius of about 1, 150 kilometers. With drop tanks and aerial refueling, it can go much farther. The Typhoon's combat radius is roughly 1, 390 kilometers. Not bad but not as far-reaching. Then comes the part nobody likes to talk about, but everyone has to. Maintenance. The Raffaele is built with operational flexibility and mine shorter turnaround times, lower maintenance man hours, and modular components. Typhoon? High performance. Yes, but it's notorious for high maintenance costs and complexity. A logistics headache, especially in high-tempo operations. So when India was shopping for 126 fighter jets under its MMRCA deal, both contenders showed up. The Indian Air Force tested both jets in harsh conditions from the deserts of Rajasthan to the freezing heights of Leh. Raffaele excelled in versatility. It could take off from high-altitude runways with ease, land on short strips, and switch from bombing to dogfighting in a single sortie. The Typhoon impressed with its sheer power and avionics. It felt faster, more aggressive in the air. But pilots reportedly found the Raffaele more pilot-friendly. It was intuitive almost like it was built with the pilot, not just for them. Then came the politics. The Eurofire had four nations to deal with, four governments, four companies, four sets of negotiations. To so? Just one. And they offered India full transfer of technology and local production rights. In 2012, after years of testing, evaluations, and negotiations, India announced Raffaele as the winner. The final deal was smaller 36 jets instead of 126. But the message was clear. Raffaele was the better fit. That didn't go down quietly. Typhoon supporters said the Eurofighter was the more advanced jet. They pointed out that in pure air combat roles, it had the edge. Faster better in vertical maneuvers, 
superior radar range. But the soul had made a stronger case in out. Just with performance, but with logistics, combat readiness, and diplomatic flexibility. And let's not forget France has no issue supplying critical tech to India without strings attached. That matters. Now, here's where things get interesting. Even today, people argue about which jet is better. But the answer is, it depends. If you're looking for air dominance high-speed intercepts, BVR beyond visual range kills, and raw performance the Typhoon is built for that. It's a scalpel in the hands of a skilled pilot. Sharp. Fast. Deadly. But if you want a jet that can drop bombs, dodge missiles, dogfight, conduct reconnaissance, and land on an aircraft carrier and do all that on a single mission, the Raphael is hard to beat. And now, both jets are evolving.